The moon is kind of a trek to get there. It takes a couple of days, but Mars, Mars is 500 days away. How are we gonna, you know, get there and also get satisfaction? Hey humans, Trace here, revisiting sex and space for your DNews Weekly Space Update. Eight months ago, Lacey explored the actual mechanics of sex and space. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. But to break it down to brass tacks, it is not an easy process. When questioned, NASA's official position is there has never been a single reported act of astro intercourse. The Inspiration Mars Foundation, however, is looking to send a married couple to encircle Mars in 2018. So I think we can all assume that they're totally gonna stop. But then what? Let's say they have the sex in space. As Lacey pointed out, it's not the easiest thing to accomplish. Without the pull of the Earth's gravity, sex can be extremely difficult. Not to get too graphic, but as there's no friction, a single thrust attempt could send the couple flying. <laughs> Newton's laws given a whole new meaning to space junk. A study out of the University of Montreal found that even if they could get the hanky-panky to work, which in itself would probably require some restraining equipment, <laughs> whether you're into that sort of thing or not, if you're gonna get pregnant in space, there are even other dangers. Now they've only done their experiments with flower sperm, but it would seem that without gravity and in the presence of that high cosmic radiation, bad things can happen to a fetus conceived in space. Inside of cells are these massive highway-like structures performing waste removal, nutrient distribution, replication. They move things around inside of a cell. But their study showed without gravity, it kind of turns into a giant traffic jam. Nothing moves properly, which could cause birth defects, brain diseases, cancers, and other unforeseen problems in an organism as complicated as a human. The mother wouldn't have an easy time either, because without gravity, the egg might not make it into the uterus, causing an ectopic pregnancy, threatening the life of the mother. As humanity begins to branch out toward other star systems, there may be a need for multi-year, multi-generation missions. Missions where children Children would be encouraged and maybe even required for successful colonization. To take it one step further than that, birth is not exactly the cleanest process. And currently, space isn't really the most hospitable way to grow a tiny human into a full-grown adult. Without gravity, the body of an infant would develop very differently from Earth, not only in the womb, but as they grow. It's kind of a crazy thought, isn't it? The easy solution is to get some spinning ships to create artificial Earth gravity in space. That would alleviate some of these problems. Long story short, sex in space is difficult. Pregnancy in space is dangerous, and we didn't even mention how cosmic radiation might mess up a developing fetus. Sort of puts a damper on our space future, that is for sure. So what do you think? How are we gonna get our progeny to other star systems? Celibacy for years? <laughs> no. Ideas, people? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more D-News because, you know, you don't want to miss a thing.